Hey guys, my name is Els Marshall and welcome back to another episode of Hey Guys. The first story, we're going to be talking about mukbang. Yeah, you're probably wondering what is mukbang? It's basically when people eat on camera, yeah? On live stream, on video, YouTube, whatever. I don't understand this myself, like I'm a bit baffled. Like, why would you want to go and sit there and watch someone eat? I, man's not on that. So we have these three YouTubers called James Charles, Tana Mojo and Jeffree Star. They're doing a collaboration. Of, of just doing this mukbang thing on YouTube. Listen, I don't know why you want to do this. I don't know how it's going to, you know, obviously they'll gain subscribers from each other, but I don't know who would actually sit there and watch three YouTubers eat. I'm excited to see how they're going to do it because I don't understand how this is going to be entertaining, yeah? So this all started in South Korea when people live streamed eating noodles, this is like pasta, whatever. They just eating anything, 50 chicken wings, and people were giving them money. Yeah, money to eat. You can get money for anything now, yeah? Not just surveys, nah, nah, nah. You get money to eat food on camera. Literally, Instagram Live, literally check me out on Instagram Live, yeah? Man's gonna be doing some eating on live. So this trend has actually traveled to the United States and obviously YouTubers now in the United States have actually started doing this, this trend. I don't know why, but they're like, you know what? It's trending over South Korea. So you can get a trend in America, you know what I'm trying to say? So Tana Mongu's obviously done some mukbang videos in the past and she's just done vegan food, you know what I'm trying to say? A little experiment like some vegan food. I'm not sure she's vegan, I'm not sure, but she's just done some vegan food on, before on live stream. So James Child tweeted, how the f did Jeffree Star and at Tana Mongu just convinced me to do a mukbang with them at one in the morning, let me know. I don't know, Charles. Yeah, man, like Charles. I don't know how you done that. Yeah, listen, this is your decision. Yeah, no one's forced you to do this, but they convinced you, so just do it. Yeah, man, might watch it, might tune in. So by now you would have seen the yodeling kid, you know, all around the internet. I've seen it everywhere: Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, everywhere. So now that you leave, this is all I can say. Singing in Walmart, it was a bit crazy. It's going, eh, eh, eh. Like, the singing was a bit, you know, you've got potential. You might have to go to singing classes though, I'm not gonna lie. So, this show, Link Kid, you've been on all over the internet this week. Let's see what the public think about this. Let's go. On this video, you've seen this video, right? Yeah. yeah. So, what do you think about it? Do you think he can, he's got a potential career, you know, ahead of him? Oh, definitely. Yeah. Um, I guess maybe. You never know. He's only 11. So. He is only 11. That's when you start. Oh yeah, he's got it. Yeah. Make or break age. Absolutely. Yeah. Do you listen to Yodel in your free time? I do not. It's more of an Alp or Sheer Old People thing, I think. You guys too. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, I'm very fucking old. I honestly don't even use the internet very much. I hadn't even heard of this thing, right? I don't know if you've seen the sound. It was going, eh, 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 like, it was going like high pitch, low pitch. I don't understand it. Oh, yeah, no, he's swinging all over the place. You know, he's batting those high tones, those low tones. You know, and that's what you need for a good yodel, right? I don't know. I don't know much about yodeling, but I guess if you can yodel, you must have some sort of talent to sing. I sing. Yeah, sing, sing. No. Sing for us. Bonjour. <laughs> so, oh, so yodeling is not as same as singing. I'm learning something new today. I didn't know about this. Yo Much harder. So what is your What is that? What is your Uh, it's like, I can't do it's it. It's just like, move your voice up and down, you know? Like, uh, like that, uh, but like a lot. My life, you know, it's like, yeah, 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 yeah. so much potential. But I have to say, be aware of the effects of distraction-based culture when things like this, society in general, like fucking global economic crisis, like massive wealth gap between the rich and the poor, when all this is, on, is growing, be wary of distraction. Okay, well that was the most interesting interview I've had today. So, this week's music roundup. Obviously, Cardi B, you know, she's actually announced that she's pregnant and, uh, you know, she's actually been cancelled from wireless, which a lot of people on Twitter are upset about. And I tell you now, I went on, you know, Snapchat, obviously people screenshot on Twitter and that. They were like, yo, I need a refund. But I can understand how other, like, big Cardi fans could be, like, a bit annoyed about that. But what can you do, eh? You know what I'm saying? She can't perform. You know what I'm saying? Allow her. So the weekend, I don't know what's going on with man, yeah? So he went on Twitter and commented a mysterious tweet of a comma. Yeah, just a comma. And guess what? It got more retweets and likes than the President of the United States. Yeah, I don't understand. A comma. What does this mean? Weekend. 
talk to me, DM me, Instagram, Els Marshall One. Obviously, DM me. Come on, man. I need to know because I'm, I'm very confused right now. Yeah, is it me like you're doing a little breather, a little pause, you pause it for music? Like I don't know, man. Because you know, I need that little that, that singing. This could be a tweet, be like, yo, it could have been like a mistake. You know what I'm trying to say? Maybe his phone was in his pocket, and you know, he pressed comment and then tweet, and then he just couldn't be asked to delete it, and then he got loads of retweets. So, thank you guys for watching today's episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you follow at MTVUK and me at Ells Marshall One. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace out.